Hello and welcome to this edition. In this edition, we will discuss about form MSME 1. Under section 405 of the Companies Act 2013, an order has been issued on 22nd of January 2019 titled Specified Companies Furnishing of Information About Payment to Micro and Small Enterprise Suppliers Order 2019. Under this order, specified companies have to file this form MSME 1. What are all those specified companies? All the companies who get supplies of goods or services from micro and small enterprises and whose payments to such micro and small enterprises exceed 45 days from the date of acceptance or the date of deemed acceptance of such a supply of goods or services as per the provisions of Section 9 of the MSMED Act 2006. So who are all the specified companies who have to file this form MSME 1? All companies, of course, those companies have to satisfy twin conditions. What is the first condition? They get supply of goods or services from micro and small enterprises. Mind you, medium enterprises is not covered. And the payment is due to them beyond the period of 45 days from the date of acceptance of such goods or services or from the date of deemed acceptance of such goods or services as may be provided under section 9 of the MSME Act 2006. So any company who satisfies these two conditions, they have to furnish MSME 1 form. Now, what is the content of the firm? The, in the form, the company, the specified company has to give the details of the amount of payment due and also why there is a delay in payment to such micro and small enterprises. Now this form uh, is to be filed uh, half yearly, means for the periods from April to September is one of the periodicity of which the form is to be filed. And the second period covered is from the month of October to the month of March. Now, what is the due date? For the first half yearly return, the due date is 31st of October. And for the second half yearly return, the due date is 30th of April. If we check the form MSME 1, you can uh, examine here that you have to mention as to whether it is an initial return or a regular half yearly return. You should also select the period from the drop down menu and you have to give your SIN. Once the SIN has been provided, these uh, certain other details gets auto populated. Of course, for an email ID, you have the option to edit the field. In point number four of the return, what you have to do is you have to mention the outstanding dues to the micro or small enterprises suppliers. Here you have to mention the total outstanding amount and also you have to mention the number of entries which you are going to populate in this form. Means to how many suppliers a late payment has been done. The number is to be mentioned here in point number B. Once we give the number of number of entities, those many number of columns get generated in the form. You have to give the financial year from to and also the name of the supplier, what is the pan of the supplier, what is the amount due and you have to specify the date from which the amount is due. Once this is done, for all those entities to whom the payment is due, in the point number 5 of the form, you have to mention the reason for the delay in the amount of payments due. You have to mention the reasons for delay. Once this is done, 
you may give optional attachments means if you want to furnish the details of the payments due in a format as required by you or as thought it fit by you you can give the format in a form of an optional attachment thereafter a declaration has to be given that the contents are uh, uh, true uh, and correct to the best of uh, the person's knowledge and also the form is to be digitally signed by the director or manager or secretary or ceo or cfo and they have to give the designation and they have to give the their registration number right what is the fees for filing this form the fees for filing the form is nil and the sweetest part is there is no late fees also for delay in furnishing this form what is the processing type the form once uploaded will be processed through stp mode means it is a straight through process mode thanks for watching see you next time